Welcome to BNN Channel 9 News. I'm Jayla. And I'm Nina. Today is January 11th, National Milk Day. So guys, make sure you go home and grab you a big old glass of milk. I know I will right when I get home. And now we'll go to Sabrina with our weather update. Hey MJ, it's Sabrina. This week won't be quite as cold as it was yesterday with highs in the low 40s over the next few days and then the 50s on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Rain is in the forecast for Friday and Saturday, but the only expected snow is a possibility of flurries tomorrow night. I can't say the same for the Midwest where winter storm Hera is causing damage. So far, at least seven people have died due to poor road conditions and an estimated 125,000 households went without power. I'm Sabrina, keeping you in the know for all of your weather news. Back to you guys. Thanks, Sabrina. Freshmen that ordered t-shirts will see Ms. Wilkin in B147 between classes. And now we have some senior night info for our seniors. Nominations are January 13th through 15th this week during lunch. Auditions for talent and announcers will be January 19th, 20th, and 21st after school in room B129 until 4.30. Talent and announcer audition sign-up sheets will be posted on the BNN door room A148. AP Psychology Review Session will be today after school from 3.20 to 4.05 in room B144. Let's go to Bryn with our sports. Hey MJ, I'm Bryn here with your sports news. Yesterday, the Seahawks and the Vikings went head-to-head -head in the playoffs. The Vikings had done very well for the first 59 minutes, and the score in the last minute was 10-9. All that stood between Minnesota and a wild-card playoff triumph over the two-time defending NFC champion, Seattle Seahawks, was a 27-yard field goal attempt from Blair Walsh. Walsh's kick never had a chance as the ball sailed wide left and the Seahawks escaped with a 10-9 win that had players from both teams on their knees in disbelief. The Seahawks will now move on to play the Carolina Panthers this Sunday at noon. This will definitely be an awesome playoff game to catch. I'm Bryn and that was your sports news. Back to you guys. Thanks, Bryn. Mount Juliet Theater Department will be having tryouts for musical West Side Story January 19th through the 21st. This tryout is open to any student in Mount Juliet. See Mr. Parks for tryout information and times. Rehearsal for the Science National Honor Society members participating in the Mount Juliet Elementary Science Night will be in room C-128 beginning at 3.30 on Thursday, January 14th. Students who will be conducting demonstrations at the event must attend. See Ms. Hayes for details. Mu Alpha Theta is accepting applications for new members until February 5th. Students interested in joining must have completed Algebra 1, Geometry, and Algebra 2 with at least a B average. See Ms. Wallace in room C-113 for more details. And now let's see what's trending now with Brady. Hey MJ, I'm Brady, and we've got some news for you. David Bowie, English singer, songwriter, multi-instrumentalist, record producer, arranger, painter, and actor, has passed away at the age of 69 on January 10th, 2016, two days after his birthday. Bowie was a figure in popular music for over four decades and was known as an innovator, particularly for his work in the 1970s. His unique appearance was an iconic element of his image, principally in the 70s and 80s. He will be loved by many and missed by all, but never forgotten in the hearts of people that actually have the slightest clue about good music. This is Ground Control to David Bowie. Rest in peace. And on a happier note, and to many a relief, Leonardo DiCaprio has finally won an award. Now, it isn't an Oscar, but it is one step closer to that final moment. Last night, he won a Golden Globe for starring in the film The Revenant and got a standing ovation as he walked to the stage. He deserves that award, for he has endured the worst to give the watchers a sense of reality. He's actually been going in and out of freezing rivers, living in animal carcasses, and having a certain diet. And when he says diet, he means eating raw bison meat. Your move, Fastbender. I'm Brady, and I'll see you in the hallways, MJ. Thanks, Brady. Chemistry 1 tutoring will be held on Tuesdays and Thursdays in room C-126 and C-128 from 3.15 to 4 o'clock. All notes for early dismissal must be in the main office by 8.15 each morning. Students must have their IDs with them at all times. And free after-school math tutoring is available on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3.15 to 4.15 in room C-145. Finally, our word of the day. Hello. I'm just going to tell you a little bit of an anecdote about my life. Um, what well, all started, I was born in Australasia. I was adopted at the age of one and brought to America, where my adopted father would teach me blacksmithery. And my mom had a garden. <laughs> but then uh, I learned the ways of blacksmithery, and I, where I, I traveled to Paraguay from there to 
express my knowledge better to the people of Paraguay. I felt like they should have just known exactly like where, like what, what was going on in America. And, uh, hey, what's up? Oh, hey, how you doing? I just, uh, I don't know. It, people think that blacksmithing is like this, this real like easy thing to do. Like it's just like hitting a hammer and nail. Let me tell you. That is, that's really what it is. Like it, it's probably really easy actually. Not like everybody that freaks out about it, but uh, in Paraguay, Paraguay was beautiful. It was, it was awesome right on the coast. It was, you could see the water perfectly fine. It was, you could see like the whole ocean. It was really awesome actually. I really, I really enjoyed my time there, but if I had to say the best part of my life was, well, no. Hold on. I went to Hawaii one time. That was pretty awesome. But I don't, I don't know if that was the best part. Oh, I went to Africa. I climbed a mountain. That. That was a treat. I don't... But that definitely wasn't the best part. The best part was probably getting adopted. That was a lot of fun. I don't know. I just really enjoyed that. But, well, I don't even know if that would be the best part. No. No, definitely. I, I didn't have many friends. It's very just kind of like... I mean, I guess I, I... I did have a few friends. Not like a ton. Um, I had this one friend, Jeffrey. He, uh, he was in a wheelchair. And uh, we went skydiving together. We climbed, he actually climbed the mountain with me in Africa. <coughs> uh, we went swimming a couple times. He was paralyzed, he couldn't, he couldn't walk, he didn't have like, any bones in his legs, pretty much. But I also had this one friend. Oh, what was his name? I think it was Teddy. Yeah, he uh, broke his arm. My brother actually broke his arm. Oh, that was funny. It was at Upwards one day, and uh, they were like, hey, Teddy, you ever done a backflip? And he was like, no. And they were like, hey, somebody has to do a backflip in their life. So they threw Teddy up, and then boom, he hit the ground, and whoosh, broke his arm in three different places. <laughs> that was also a good day. Thank you for watching WBNN. I'm Jayla. And I'm Nina here at WBNN. We're in touch. So you're in touch. Have, Have a great, great day, MJ. MJ.